Hello and welcome everybody to 2006. Today we're highlighting Chris Paul with his amazing Topps Chrome Rookie. But before we dive into this individual card, we need to roll the clock back just a little bit to the original Topps Chrome in 1996. So you can see here I just grabbed one Topps Chrome from the 1996 set. And I'm not sure if this is going to show up, but you can read pretty clearly here. This is from 1996. Topps introduced Topps Chrome, which was like this shiny, <laughs> kind of plastic coated face of a normal Topps card, which was really popular. I mean, Kobe Bryant, rookie year, and an amazing set. In 2006, 10 years later, uh, we get this. You compare the two. This is pretty serious. This is a card, a basketball card. This. Well, you know, there's this purple embellishment around this particular card. It's really shiny. I like the chrome look. There's a little basketball up here. And we have bubbles. Bubbly, anybody? Bubbly. Let's make it look like a purple champagne glass, shall we? It's just hilarious. And I love this star. Is that is that star holding a ball or is that a star bubble? Is that a star blowing a bubble or is that a... It's a cool card. I like it. I like bold colors. Um, obviously, you can see it's not centered. So it's not going to get, you know, a perfect, you know, rating, PSA 10 or anything, but it's a fun card nonetheless. You can see here, it has some information, like he was the fourth round of that year in the 95 draft. This is the 96, or the two, sorry, did I say 95? This card's throwing me up. Move this aside. The 2005 draft, he was the fourth pick, and he, uh, and this is the 2006, you know, Chrome, obviously, it's the 2005-2006 season. Card 168, and, you know, just some fun things about Chris Paul's opportunities and things. I have a fun story behind this card. So <laughs> to me, this is my card, my Chris Paul. I don't, you know, care for any others because I went to a superstore back when, you remember when DVDs were like a big, you remember when CDs were a big thing and you'd go to these stores. Like I went to a store out West called Media Play for a long time. And then a mall brand, a mall, a mall franchise took over. Uh, I want to say it was an FYE or something, bought out the rights to that store. And so this big standalone superstore called Media Play was now FYE. And FYE, I think that stands for For Your Entertainment, had a box of Topps Chrome just sitting there. I'm like, oh, well, Topps Chrome, I, hope, I like basketball. So I bought a few packs. And at the time, it seemed so expensive, like $4 a pack or something. And... <laughs> I remember pulling this and being like, hey, Chris Paul's a lottery pick. He's pretty good. Can you see there's ever so slightly some warping here? So it is bowed, kind of some slight pringling going on here. And so I pulled Chris Paul and I was really excited about that. And every time I see this card, I'm, I remember I'm like, ah, yes, the FYE Chrome that I purchased. It was Chrome was hard to find, you know, that year for some reason. Thanks a lot, Chris Paul. But Chris Paul, one of my favorite players to watch. So talented, so gifted. Uh, traded to the Suns, Phoenix Suns, the, the year I'm making this video, the basketball season I'm making this video. So Chris Paul, awesome player, this card, just fun memories of youth and childhood and uh, enjoying basketball. And that's what basketball cards are, right? To me, fun. I don't know if to you, but to me, just a lot of fun. So this is, always goes down in memory. I'm tempted to slab it, even though it's going to get like an 8.5 or a 9 just because it means something to me. Let me know your thoughts about Topps Chrome, whether it's the original Topps Chrome, any Topps Chrome since, I guess now Prism, Panini owns the right to basketball, but did you like the Topps Chrome stint at making basketball cards? I sure did, one of my favorite brands. Uh, some were more serious than others, but still one of my favorite brands. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. If you want to support this channel, you can visit my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.